Good morning, everyone. Bienvenidos todos. Uh, this blessed Tuesday morning, going to share the amazing, amazing, beautiful word of oh my God, of our God, our Abba Father God. When we are at that point in life, through Lord Jesus, that we know that our God is our Abba, our Father, there's a closer relationship from human to God through the Son, through Jesus. And because we have that intimacy with our Abba Father, we love to share, we love to edify our Father in heaven, our God. And because we show that in our lives, attacks come of people that literally call themselves atheists. I don't even know what atheist means. They, they just don't believe. I uh, think it's just a title that they placed upon themselves. And uh, one... On, I commented on a video and uh, I, I don't understand how they don't see that God is real. Uh, again, it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. And uh, I don't want to be there. And I hope that whom hears these videos, the sharing of the word, that you're not there either. Seek him and he, he'll manifest himself in your lives, brothers and sisters. He will. This one, I'm assuming he's a, a gentleman, uh, don't want to be disrespectful, but he doesn't believe. Yet, he's commenting on a video for a pastor sharing scripture. So what does that tell you? So I told him, why are you here? Why are you here if you don't believe? And, and he just keeps commenting, trying to, I don't know. I don't know why he keeps commenting, to tell you the truth. Um, and here, I asked Abba Father this morning, what do you want me to share? And I have another Bible in the bedroom. I heard him say, come here. And the Bible was already open to where he wanted me to share. I did not open it to that page. Sometimes it, it just flutters and it opens. And that's where he wants me to see. That's the truth. That's my Abba. My God. So here again this morning, Abba Father, I thank you. I give you all the glory. Forgive those that have yet not seen your glory, Father. For it is amazing when we are in your presence. And you brought this word. You brought this word. And I thank you. In the name of your son, Jesus, allow the ones that you need to hear your word, Father. The true sons and daughters. The apple of your eyes, Father. I share. And it's out of Jeremiah 7. 1 through... I think it's 4. It's, it's short. But God is good. The word that came to Jeremiah... From the Lord saying, stand in the gate of the Lord's house and proclaim them this word and say, hear the word of the Lord, all you of Judea, but all you now that hear the word, heed Lord Father speaks till now. He speaks the same. He's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. That's our God. He 
He doesn't change. That's an attribute of our God that we all should embrace. Is do not change to be evil. Stay in that righteous path. Don't let go. Don't don't give up. God is good and he's a truthful God. He's the only truthful God that will fulfill his word in our lives. If we, if we, brothers and sisters, is the big if, if we turn to our God. Hear the word of the Lord, all you who enter into these gates to worship the Lord. When we're in his presence, when we're in prayer, when we're seeking our God, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the Lord of hosts, we as a human being with a human body, we host our God. So he states it here. Thus says the Lord of hosts, because he owns us, we belong to him and we host him. So we are a host. Heed the word of our God, brothers and sisters. <laughs> Thus says the Lord, the, the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel. That was one of the questions from this one person. Amend your ways. There's key. Abba Father speaking to all of us. Amend your ways. And your doings. And this is a scripture from, this is chapter 7. I shared uh, two videos down. Again, he's, he's here, he's saying amend. Amend your ways and your doings. It, it is something that Abba Father is forewarning us. Do it. It's throughout the scripture. We need to change. Amend our ways and our doings. And I will cause you to dwell in this place. What place? His presence. When we enter into prayer, when we enter into that belief, if we amend our ways and our doings, Abba Father states it, I will cause you to dwell in this place, into his presence, through his son. This is the power of the word. Do not trust in these lying words saying the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord are these. Meaning, thus says the Lord of hosts right here, right here. He's telling us through his word, do not believe that he dwells in a temple, he doesn't, we're, it's, it's scripture, it's the New Testament. This is the temple of our God, right here, is why he's Lord of hosts. We host our God within us, so we have to amend our ways and our doing, so we can host our God. This is the power. He says, do not believe the lying lips. Come, dwell in this building where our... No, we do. We have to amend our ways, our ways, brothers and sisters, so Abba Father can dwell and we can host him in our bodies. This is the power. For if you thoroughly amend your ways, fully amend your ways, and your doings. If you thoroughly execute judgment between a man and his neighbors, you do not oppress the stranger, the fatherless, and the widow, and do not shed innocent blood in this place, or walk after other gods. That was one of the topics of this one person that claims to be atheist, that how do I know that the God I serve is the true God because I host my God. I see the change in my life. 
It is the presence of the true God of Israel that dwells within me that I know that the God I serve is true. The word of God states here that thoroughly amend our ways. We fully, wholly change our ways and our doings. That we thoroughly execute judgment between man and neighbor. Judgment in the, in the sense, notice the wrongdoings or the right doings. We judge that. Okay, that's wrong. That's right. I won't go there. He's thoroughly telling us to judge our own judgment of righteousness, brothers and sisters. Don't oppress the stranger, the fatherless, the widow. He's telling us th this is a good doing. And do not shed innocent blood. Do not hate in this place or walk after other gods to your hurt. That right there, I said, Abba, Father, that, that is what makes other people follow other gods. They don't wait for Abba. They don't wait for Father in Heaven to, to fulfill His word. If we change our ways, he, He's literally telling us, I know why you seek other gods. Pain, hurt. So they start building idols. They start worshiping other things that we're not supposed to. We need to have that righteous judgment, brothers and sisters. Then I will cause you to dwell in this place, in the land that I gave to your fathers forever and ever. And that is in the presence of our God. Forever and ever. That's a kept promise. If we amend, thoroughly amend, thoroughly execute our doings and our ways in the eyes of our God. It does feel sad that someone doesn't know the true God. If we all came from Him, we're made in His image. I, I sometimes have brothers and sisters, why do you continue? Because it's the spoken word. We're made in the image of our God. How can I reject another being? If they are also made in the image of the God I serve. They just haven't found that way to God for some odd reason. And there's only that one way. And that's Yahshua, Jesus, our Lord. And Abba, Father, gives us the clue. Amend your ways and your doings. And I will cause you to dwell in my presence. I am the Lord of hosts. He will dwell within us. It is a kept promise. These are just a few verses out of Jeremiah 7. 1 through, I'm sorry, it's 1 through 7. 1 through 7, just a few. And Abba Father's telling us, change your ways. Amend them. Amend your ways and your doing. Judge a man and a neighbor. Do not oppress a stranger. If a stranger asks, I need help, help him. Don't oppress him. Don't, don't, don't walk away. Ask what's your need. And if you can help, help. This is the word of our God. It's not hard to, to amend our ways and our doings. It's, to me, it's simple. I want my God to dwell within me. I want to host my God. And people lose faith because of pain. They seek other gods. It's, it's here. And do not shed innocent blood in this place or walk after other gods to your hurt. Don't do that. Abba Father will. He will fulfill his word. If we amend our doings, 
I know we all hurt, but this is where we come, brothers and sisters. We seek our God. Again, I will pin the scriptures under the description box, brothers and sisters. I don't know if that atheist, as he calls himself, satisfied atheist. I don't know if uh, he'll watch the video, but this is the God I serve. And I'm pleased to believe, edify my God. And may he reach you because you, again, you commented, you commented in a place where a atheist shouldn't even be if you don't believe in God. But you're searching, you're seeking. And my Abba Father is good because he's reaching out to you too. That's the God I serve. He's a merciful God and he loves all his children, all his babies. I give you all glory, Lord Father. In the name of your son, Jesus, thank you for giving me this strength, Father. For the love I have in you, let them, let them see, let yourself, your love manifested by that so they could see to amend their ways and their doings. Because you are the Lord of hosts. Bless you.